Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to a walkthrough of the Candy Cane Journal. This journal has a little candy cane dangle. It has a candy cane stripe along the side and its tie is held on. It's fastened in the back with two grommets. And let's open it up and see what we have. So we open it up and you have a page here that would make an absolutely wonderful place to keep any Christmas pins that you might have. Then there are two little pieces tucked in here and a nice big journaling card right there at the start with some lace along the side. Some silver down here with a couple of the journaling card and a writing page and some snowflakes because it's Christmas. This is a piece from a jelly print that I made, but it provides lots of writing places and a couple of little tucks behind the candy canes. Just some places to hide some writing. What I really like about this belly band, watch what happens. Ha, huh, it disappears. Isn't that cool? Doesn't look like there's anything there. And then you put the paper in and voila, you have a writing space. Flip it over and you have three pockets. Of course, we have our playing card. These have been in all of my Christmas journals because I had that, I bought that pack, oh, Two years ago now and it was it didn't have all the cards to it and so this is the three of hearts that is tucked in here a couple of little gift tags in here and then of course a little Merry Christmas card in there here we have a couple pages from St. Jude's Children's Hospital um, I get their stationery often We'll throw a couple pages in there. A cool tuck space here. It says Merry Christmas. Just tucks in along the side. And then a pocket here with another journaling card. And a little bit of bling. From the desk of Santa Claus. And of course we have to have our lights. We have an, a flip here that can hide some writing. That is crepe paper on there. And I just, I love how that feels. Some wrapping paper a something you can color cute little tuck space down in here with two little cards and then another set of journaling cards up here this is really pretty paper it has um, those are snowflakes on it and I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera but the vellum also has a ring of snowflakes around it in the center, there's our candy cane piece. We'll put our candy cane up there. And then a few candy cane cards and a few other little journaling places here. We have our vellum coming back out and that really pretty snowfall there. Some gingerbread men down here. Merry Christmas. This is a very cool piece. It just I just made these. Um, if you want to see how to make them, I will put the video down below. And that just opens up and makes a great hidden journaling spot. One, two, three, and tuck. And then that just slides right up there on the paper clip. Places to hide some writing. This is kind of cool. I put some extra pieces in here. These are just extras from uh, the off cuts and whatnot, so you can use them if you want to decorate anything further up, De make it more you, and then a couple of cards. And those can be split apart and used as gift tags, or you can just use them as a journaling card, however you choose. And then this was a cool envelope, and it opens up, and inside there are a couple of Nice big size journaling cards. Plus lots of places to write here. And you can even turn it sideways and write along in here. 
more candy canes. Got a nice little tuck one there. And then this was a Starbucks thing. And there's some little extra cards and whatnot tucked up underneath in there. You have another journaling spot here. This one just is fairly small. It opens up this way and just clips on to the side. But if you don't want it on the side, you could certainly flip it over so it's up on top. And it was at this point that I realized this was, I actually had two of the um, doilies and they were already sewn in. So you have two doilies actually here. This is a cool pocket that you, were, you have several different places to tuck things. There's something tucked in here, there's something tucked in here. There's a card tucked in here. Actually, it just goes in that one. And then you have a tuck card tucked in the back. So there are four tucks, one, two, three, four on this particular pocket. And then we get to the end and there is a, uh, there are a couple of little cards in there. And then this one is cool. This is the last of this type that I have. This is an antique. That's from the, I think the fifties gift card. And then just a little cluster. And there you go with the back and the ties. This journal will be for sale in my coffee shop. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. It's a very simple tie to keep it closed. I just can't, there we go, get a hold of that bow. There we go. Till later, this is Cindy signing off.